Hi, my name's Ben. I'm the founder and architect of Lean House, and this is my house tour. So the idea behind this house is to come up with a really compact, cost-effective family home, and I wanted to build it as efficiently as possible using as less material as possible. So we've got this rectangular-shaped house with a simple, single-pitched roof, and that roof line um, allows us to have nice high ceilings through the whole house. This house is unique because we've really designed it for flexibility, and this front portion of the house here is actually a self-contained apartment. Um, we're renting it out at the moment, but it could easily be used as a home office or um, a space for family, or even just an extra bedroom and an extra living space. Um, yeah, and as you can see, they've got their own entrance and they've got their own garden, but it's still under the main roof of the house. So this house is built to passive house standards. It's just not certified, but we've used a really big uh, timber stud, 170 mil timber stud, to pack as much insulation as possible and we've got these really nice, thick, sturdy walls. We've used a really limited palette of materials in this home. We've used colour bond um, on the eastern and western facades where it needs to be really robust. But in the more protected areas, we've used this beautiful iron ash timber. And the good thing about where we've used it is that it's kind of protected from the sun and from the weather, so it should last a really long time without need needing to be recoated. It's really important for a passive house to use UPVC uh, windows and doors with double glazing, but we always try to make sure we get really great cross ventilation in the house. So what we've done here is we've put a side light window next to the front door, and that opens to let the amazing like breezes through and, and flush out the house. And inside the windows we have these blinds, so that if you want privacy from the front door you can have it, but uh, during the day sometimes we just leave it down so you can see the views out. With the Skillion roofs, we're really able to push the ceiling up high and get this sense of space and flow. But the problem with high ceilings is that quite often, acoustically, it sounds really bad from echo. So we've actually installed these um, uh, acoustic plasterboard ceilings throughout the main living areas of the house, and that really helps to deaden the sound and make the place more comfortable. So wherever we have east or west facing windows in the house, we've got external roller shutters. They do a fantastic job of cutting down the heat gain on the glass in the mornings and the afternoons. And the other benefit is the kids can, well, the bedrooms can be pitch black at night and also great security. I really love this living room living space. It's north facing, um, directly out onto our garden. We've been able to push the ceilings up high under that single storey roof. And as you can see, we've got the acoustic ceilings and ceiling fans are really important and it's nice big 2.7 metre high double glazed uh, lift and slide doors. With passive house, it's really important that you don't have gas appliances. So this house is full electric. Um, so we've got electric oven and induction cooktop and we've got a recirculating downdraft um, extraction built into the cooktop. It's really handy, it's really quiet and it does the job really well. Here you can see we've got the vents for the air conditioning system. This is actually um, a, a bulkhead split system and it's just the only place where the air conditioning is supplied in the house. And above it, this is a uh, exhaust vent for the heat recovery ventilation unit. So we have um, exhaust in all the wet areas like bathroom, laundry, kitchen, and we supply fresh air to all the living spaces like bedrooms, living room, activity room, stuff like that. Through the kitchen, we've got the fridge, appliances, uh, pantry, and then through into the laundry is where we keep the heat recovery ventilation system and the air conditioning controls. The house does have air conditioning. We've got one small six kilowatt split system, um, and it helps really well to just take the edge off the really hot days, but generally we're only setting the temperature to 25 or 26 degrees. And with the constant humidity of the passive house, it's super comfortable. In a tight house, it's got to be ventilated, right? This house has a heat recovery ventilation system by Zender. That's bringing in fresh air from the outside, which is then filtered and tempered by the outgoing stale air. So it helps to maintain a constant level of humidity and a constant temperature inside. Uh, it's got filters that are easily cleaned or replaced if we need to. And um, it's also got different speeds. So generally, we don't need to touch it. But um, if you're having a shower or if you're cooking something, you can boost the fan speed and it will um, extract more air faster. 
very, very energy efficient. It uses about 80 watts of power, which is about the same as the super small like LED TV. So for this house, it was really important to me that we used as little material as possible. And we've been able to completely eliminate steel structure from the build. Even with these really big wide openings, we've worked closely with the builder and the engineer to do it 100% in timber. And I think it's a really great result. And dogs need doors in an airtight home. And the problem is, like, what is the right solution for allowing a dog to come and go, um, but still keep that opening airtight. So we've actually sourced these doors from the United States, and they're really clever. They're rated for passive house in terms of their thermal efficiency, but they also seal airtight from both directions so the dog can come and go as they need to. Probably the most energy hungry part of the whole house would be the swimming pool. And it's a bit of an indulgence to have it heated as well by a heat pump. So the house has got 10 kilowatts of solar installed, and that's more than enough energy to heat the pool, run the hot water and run everything in the house. And we actually have um, surplus energy being put back into the grid. All the equipment is tucked around, tucked away down the side of the house. Um, so you can see we've got our Stiebel Eltron heat pump hot water system. Um, got the heat pump for the pool, the pool equipment. And just behind there is the small six kilowatt air conditioning system. Part of the idea with this project to keep the house quite compact was to protect the potential of subdividing the block at, you know, later in life. And so we've done that by keeping a nice four metre wide driveway down the side of the house to the rear. And there's enough space here that could easily be turned into another home or even an ancillary dwelling. For the moment though, we've installed a shed and that's where we keep all our toys and the kids play area. So our landscape architect has helped us decide what plants to use. We've got this water wise garden, these are all natives. They're planted from like tube stock and we've got uh, drip irrigation which comes directly off the ball. It's really water wise and plants are really thriving. They've only been in here for like three or four months. Thanks for joining me on the tour of uh, my lean house. Uh, I'd love to hear any questions or comments that you've got. So visit the website leanhouse.com.au or visit us on Instagram and leave a comment there.